Okay, welcome to the Schmidt Manor booth at the ISDF in Israel. Uh, I would like to present first um, one of our short dots, uh, one of our newest versions. It's the 1 to 8 by 24. As you can see, the CC just stands for close combat, which means uh, that you have a true one-time magnification. You can, right, you can put on a red dot inside, illuminate it. Yeah. So you can basically bit. use it as a red dot side. There we go. But you can also crank it up to eight time magnification for shooting at uh, longer distances. Hmm. Although this has an eight time magnification, it only has a 30 millimeter tube, so it's a quite lean and compact scope. This is uh, especially made for uh, close quarter uh, combat situations. Then we've got our new 5 to 20 by 50 ultra short. One of our newer scopes, the scope is 30 centimeter in total, so it's a quite small scope, it's quite short. Um, this has also a purpose uh, that you can mount a night vision device in front of it without getting a huge system on your rifle. As you can see, which also new is, uh, is the elevation turret, which is a very flat one. Um, although it's very flat, it's still a double turn turret, so if you go into a second rotation, you can see the pin is popping up, so you can feel that you have to go by the numbers up here. It has a total adjustment of uh, 350 centimeters on 100, which is quite a huge amount. And although it's so flat, you can still have it with a locking function. Of course, this scope is also illuminated, um, and it weighs about uh, 960 grams, which is quite good for a tactical scope. Then we've also got one of our newer scopes, the 3 to 27 by 56 high power. This is now currently used by the USOCOM. They're using it on a 338 Lapua. Mm -hmm. It has a, a huge zoom range, a nine times zoom. So it's going from 3 to 27. It pretty much combines uh, a large field of view by the three time magnification, but also enables you to crank it up to 27 magnification for observing or for shooting at longer distances. This one is equipped with an, a double turn turret um, where, you can, where the indicator is popping up if you go into the second rotation. I'll show it to you like this. Then you can feel that you are in a second rotation. Also, this turret is, has the locking function. You press it down, then you can see it's locked. The same system you have on the windage, where you just press the rim towards the tube and then it's locked. Here's the windage, which is going down from 10 meters to infinity. Also illuminated, of course. 